Hi, welcome to the Red Attic. So today we are going to discuss about the most frequently asked question, uh, at least to me, is which cloud to choose. Right. So before we get into it, like I just wanted to tell you something. So this video is not just for the individual who is searching for the job. Even you might have some startup and you are looking for some cloud uh, providers and you didn't and you don't know how to choose and what to choose. Right. So for both the audience, I'm covering this. Right. Okay. So first we get into it. Right. Let's first discuss what is the market size of cloud computing currently and in future, whether it is evergreen or it's growing or it's not growing, something like that. Right. So this is something that I wanted to show you. Uh, if you see here, all these dollars are in billion. Okay, uh, just, just a second. Let me change the color. So they are like in billions. Okay. So in 2022, the market size of cloud computing is 480 billion. Right. So the complete market of cloud with respect to the projects, with respect to the resource, with respect to the uh, uh, demand and all those, all those stuff. It includes of everything. Okay. Sorry. So in 2024, the market of cloud is 652 billion. And in 2032, the estimation is 2297 billion. That is huge, guys. That is really huge. And that means it is keep on growing and that is evergreen, right? So cloud is not, uh, that is something my personal recommendation. Cloud is not a mainstream technology that always people should have, right? Or people already who are core in cloud, that's fine. Okay, I'm just talking about uh, from the perspective of data engineers or front-end developers who is already working on something else as a mainstream and then you are trying to get into cloud for them i'm telling okay no it's not like i'm not it's like no offensive i'm not saying like cloud uh, people who have taken cloud as a mainstream it's it's not recommended no i'm not saying like that okay so people who already have a mainstream technology right like data engineering or front-end so when you are entering into cloud, you might have this question, which cloud to choose? And also, okay, you are a fresher and you are decided to, okay, I have to learn cloud only, right? See, especially when fresher has this thought to them, to you, I can tell you that you, you don't want to choose cloud as a mainstream because cloud has more than 200 plus services, which includes AI, ML, big data, network, infrastructure, uh, front end and all this mobile computing and everything. So you choose one. Okay, you choose one stream. For example, you want to be a, a big data engineer, then you can just focus only on data related servers in cloud computing. No, I just want to be in front end, then you can choose only front end related services. Or I want to be an AI ML engineer, then you can just choose those services only. So your mainstream has to be something else. And this is something, a side stream that you should have. Okay, fine. Fine. So the next thing is back. Okay. So what are all the, so we discussed about the market and it is evergreen. Okay, that is fine. So what are all the leaders, cloud top leaders in the market? So I'll, I'll just give you three uh, list. So AWS and then Azure and then GCP. So AWS is by Amazon. So Amazon Web Service is Amazon Cloud and Azure is Microsoft Cloud and then GCP is a Google Cloud. So we do have other people as well like Snowflakes, Databricks and other cloud sellers are also there. But these three are leaders. Let's We can start with these three. And these three cloud sellers occupies 66% of market out of 100%. And that means they, these combine of these three, collective of these three cloud holds 66% of customers in the cloud space, right? So if you take AWS, they have started this in the year of 2006, roughly. So Azure started in 2010 and GCP is the most youngest, which started in 2011. Right. And as AWS holds around 31 to 32 percentage of market and then Azure holds around 23 to 25 percentage of market and GCP holds around 10 to 11 percentage of market. OK, so uh, because GCP is so younger and then like they do have their own unique customers. So it's not like based on this percentage, it's not like you have to choose only Amazon, not GCP. No, it's not like that. We do have so many other things to discuss. OK. So this is the market share, like how each of this company holds. And if you take the services, right, they have services for everything. They have storage service, they have AI service, like they have big data service, they have uh, front end um, and then machine learning and many more services, guys. So as I said, they have 200 plus services. So and that means 
you cannot choose whether i can go for aws because of this service which is not there in gcp no you cannot do that because almost 99 percentage of the services available in all these three cloud sellers and now let's discuss about the services so do they like is there any service shortage like amazon gives on service and gcp doesn't give and azure has and amazon doesn't give no it's not like that see for example if you take aws azure and then gcp and S3 is like a, a file system. It's like an object store where it stores the data in a distributed manner. Okay. So similarly, Azure has Azure Blob Storage and Google has Google Cloud Storage. So that means they all, they have the service. What AWS gives, similar service we do have a Azure and GCP. And EC2, it's like a virtual machine where you want to have Linux or you want to install Windows. You need a virtual machine, right? So Amazon gives that in EC2 in the name of EC2. Uh, Azure has it, Azure Virtual Mission, Google Cloud, Google Compute Engine. So they do have all the services. And for big data managed cluster, so AWS gives it in the name of EMR. In Azure, it is HD Insight. And in Google, it is called Google Data Break. And then like we have RDBMs in the name of RDS and AWS. And then Azure SQL Database in Azure, Google Cloud SQL in GCP. And we do have no SQL database called DynamoDB in AWS, Cosmos in Azure, and then Google Bigtable or Firestore in GCP. And that means all these services are there in all of these cloud providers. And that means we cannot like choose which one is best based on the service they provide because everyone is giving the service. And that means, so you cannot choose which is the best cloud based on the market cap. You cannot choose which is the best cloud based on the services, whether there is a lag in services or some services is missing in Azure or GCP. No, there is no such options, right? So this is also, there is no way of choosing in that way as well. Right. So now based on what then I have to go with this. So now if you take AWS, Azure and GCP, or did have any difference in the cost? There is, but that is not huge, you know? So the cost of all these are almost same and the discounts is also almost same. When I say discounts, you and me will not get discounts, but the big companies who is going to plan to use the cloud sellers will get discounts and that is also not going to change. And all these cloud concepts are work on a pay as you go, which has not happened in the on-prem. On-prem is opposite to cloud. So imagine you have like 10 floors of office and the second floor you have the entire server infrastructure whichever is required and you are like uh, telling that I will handle all this infrastructure, the burdens and everything and what happens if some flood comes till the second floor, everything is gone, disaster recovery is not there and uh, whether your cluster are not used for the next month but still you have to pay for the electricity and, and all other stuff. But to overcome all this cloud entered into picture, cloud will store your data in a distributed manner in a different regions with replication, like one replica in London, another one is Asia Pacific, and another one is in North America. So you still have all that fault tolerance and all those stuff. But whether the cost is going to differ? No. Now, this is also not an option which based on which I'm going to choose. Then how the entire life cycle works? Right. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. <clears throat> So imagine your company called ABC and this company will have a solution architect. Okay. And this solution architect got a work from his CTO or from his head that we have to move all our on-prem services to cloud. So you have to choose some cloud. Now his responsibility to choose which cloud to choose. So that means there is top three sellers in the market, AWS, Azure and GCP. Now out of these three, which one? to choose is what the problem for the solution architect because he's seeing there is all like same uh, price and then same level of discounts and all services are available in all the cloud sellers and based on what I have to choose now he has a problem and now AWS, Azure and GCP will have their own customer support team you can connect with them even as an individual I can connect with them and then you can explain your use cases right so you explain completely about your use cases your data pipeline or your front end architecture whatever it is and then they will come up with a customized solution they can even give you a customized solution also now you can choose which is best and what again you have to consider discounts as well so now based on that you choose imagine i'm just saying for an example i'm saying because aws is the leaders in the market because they have more market and Azure is the second largest and GCP is the third largest, but that doesn't mean you have to go for AWS. Now, I'll just give you an example. Now, the solution architect decided to go with AWS. Now, based on this, he will create a job description or job and he will post this in a job portal. Now, I am a resource like who is searching for a job 
when i just approach this jd this jd says i should know aws and then i am learning aws okay now let let me go to the new slide let me know go to the new slide now as a resource i have learned aws because i have seen that abc company is using aws now after learning that aws now i am just approaching to that abc company and there is a chance that they can call me because my resume has aws now i am just trying to uh, apply for uber by knowing aws but imagine uber is using gcp but just an imagination now here i cannot apply and now i am just planning to apply this in walmart and then given the condition walmart is using azure and that means you cannot apply here right you cannot apply right so just by knowing aws you just have to check only the company which is using aws and then you can apply it's not like if i know python i can apply in all these companies if i know uh, big data spark hadoop i can apply for all these companies it's not like product specific but aws is product specific right it's just a unique vendor that you are aware of right so now what is the solution for this that i have to attend all the uh, companies like across all uh, companies whichever the cloud computing that they are using here the concept comes multi cloud multi cloud means the companies which is using more than one cloud now imagine there is a company called netflix uh, this is a real use case this is a real use case netflix predominantly use aws and recently they tied up with azure you can even google it and they also use gcp they use azure azure for their ads okay you can ask me then why why netflix is going for multi cloud architecture why this uh, use case what they had it for azure was not supported by aws or not it's not like that it is supported okay it is supported but there could be some reasons for one of the reason i can tell you is the company netflix decided not to go with vendor lock in when i say vendor lock in it's not like it should not be a vendor specific always imagine they use only aws and at certain point of time they realize that their 90 to 95 percentage of their complete system is in aws now aws can raise the charges right and that is not that tc for us to migrate from one cloud to another cloud minimum it takes 3 years minimum companies will uh, start with a 3 year of plan to migrate from one cloud to another and surely it will be get extended right so that could be also one reason based on the use case specific they go for different vendors so they go for multi cloud architecture and even aws google cloud azure supports to uh, like connect with other cloud environment they have separate services to do that because people are started using multi cloud all right so this is all, this is one example of multi cloud now when the company is having the mindset and adopting of multi cloud right then we should also have that mindset to adopt now imagine before getting into that now imagine okay as a resource i know aws and you said netflix is also using aws can i apply here i can say yes but the netflix currently has opening for the gcp team means what you will do netflix is using aws but the job description the job what they released is only for the gcp team then what you will do right so the only answer that i can give as a resource you should know multi cloud and you know just go to google uh, sorry just go to linkedin people started adding multi cloud to their skill set when i say multi cloud try to know at least more than one cloud and that means you start with something maybe aws has a big market so you can start with aws and when i say start pick the mainstream whatever the mainstream that you have okay if you are a data engineer just drill down only the data related services in aws because aws has all 200 services 200 plus you cannot learn everything right so you just pick only the data related services available in aws and just learn it once done just move on to azure data related services and once done move on to gcp data related services this is the solution guys this is the only solution i can tell you right so multi cloud is the only answer for 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 the people who asked me uh, which cloud i have to choose just start with one and then move on to next that's what i can recommend and if you know multi cloud and that means the openings the 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 interview calls the probability of getting calls will be very high because you know multi cloud right so that's all guys so that's the complete agenda of this video so we have learned so much thing uh, so like i hope you really like this video if so please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleague and if you need some such videos in future just comment yes so that i'll i'll come to know okay my audience is expecting me to do some such videos and my instagram profile is bigdata.in please do follow me there as well and i do lot of big data engineering and cloud cloud related videos in my youtube channel just have a look thanks